It is now my legal opinion that his impeachment is required. So let's start with the recording. Th this documentary filmmaker, her name is Lauren, Lauren Windsor. Again, this is at the Supreme Court Historical Society's gala, I think last weekend. She put out this audio and then has been subsequently interviewed. I mean, it's getting her a lot of press, so she's got her own self-interest here. But, you know, the guy says what he says. So let's take a listen. This is Supreme Court Justice talk, Alito, Samuel Alito talking to Lauren Windsor on June 3rd. As a Catholic and as someone who, like, really cherishes my faith, I just don't, I don't know that we can negotiate with the left in the way that, like, needs to happen for the polarization to end. I think that it's a matter of, like, winning. I think you're probably right. On one side or the other, one side or the other is going to win. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, there can be a, 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 a way of working, a way of living together peacefully, but it's difficult. You know, because there are differences on fundamental things that really can't be compromised. You know, really can't be compromised. So it's not like we're going to split the difference. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. I just, I think that the solution really is like winning the moral argument. Like people in this country who believe in God have got to keep fighting for that to return our country to a place of, of godliness. Oh, I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay. You have a sitting Supreme Court justice saying that one side or the other is going to win. There can be no compromise. You can't split the difference. And our country has to return to a place of godliness. Again, there's got to be a winner and a loser. We cannot compromise because you cannot split the difference. And we have to return the country to a place of godliness. In these statements, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito has now violated his oath. He is impeachable for saying these things. Now, let's make no mistake. Supreme Court justices, judges, lawyers working in government, we all have our personal opinions about policies, about politics. We have our own religious views. But what you don't do is in public settings, and this was a public setting, mixed, mixed company, this wasn't necessarily a conservative gathering, is you don't share these views with a complete and total stranger. And the reason that you don't do that as a judge or someone in a high public office, and certainly never as a U.S. Supreme Court justice, is because the, of the oath that you take, which is to administer justice without respect to persons and to equal right to the poor and to the rich and to faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. The words without respect to persons means without preconceived judgments, without prejudices built in, without a bias against certain belief systems, groups, political viewpoints, or social viewpoints that are different from your own. That's what that oath believes. This guy just said, uh-uh, no compromise. We got to bring godliness back to this country. He's saying that as a Supreme Court justice at a Supreme Court event. What he's, what he's articulating is an ideological worldview that's incompatible with objectivity and independence and fairness. That's the problem. It is, in fact, a demonstration of his lying at his confirmation hearing. 
once you find yourself in this sort of a mind space, a mentality, it's actually incumbent upon Justice Alito or any judge that finds themselves like Rebecca Bradley here on the Wisconsin Supreme Court, when you find yourself in this place where you cannot separate the law and your oath to be impartial without fear or favor, without respect to persons, when you find yourself in that headspace, you have an oath, a duty to this Constitution, to every single one of you and me to retire. Because you can no longer be objective, because you no longer can see a path to compromise, because you don't believe that we can split the difference anymore, because you don't believe that the laws are for everyone, not just the winners, and to hell with the losers. Shame on you, Justice Alito. You are now unfit to serve. You must step down and retire or be impeached. It's simply that simple. Simply that simple.